Hey, good afternoon, guys. We are here at Kroger where we are cooking up something good in the kitchen. <laughs> Kaya Twistlewood is with us, who's always doing the fabulous cooking. <laughs> I mean, you're the smells right now. I'm dying to dig into this steak. I'm not going to lie, Kaya. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. This is exciting for you guys at the Kentucky Beef Council because now we can get local beef. Right. We have a local beef product now available at Kroger stores. It's a ground beef product, um, but of course we have lots of great farmers across the state that have other products as well. What we're going to show you right now is a steak recipe. It's a bourbon marinated sirloin with a mint chimichurri because what better way to taste Kentucky than with a little beef and a little bourbon? Right? Right. I like it. All right. Tell us how we throw okay, it. Okay. So we're going to make the marinade and it's really simple. Probably ingredients you already have at your house. We're going to start with just one cup of water. We're gonna mix in two thirds cup of bourbon, and I won't say what bourbon, because I know everyone's loyal to their different bourbons. <laughs> We've got a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, which is an incredible flavor to pair with beef. And then some soy sauce as well. And then our last ingredient we're gonna add is some packed brown sugar. Okay. And now we're gonna mix this together. And then before you put your steaks in there, add just a couple tablespoons of lemon juice. That acidity is gonna help um, tenderize those steaks when you leave them overnight. How long do we, I was gonna say, overnight marinate them in a baggie? Yes. We're gonna put it in a baggie. So once you're done with whisking your marinade, you're just gonna put your steak in a Ziploc bag. We recommend about eight hours to overnight. Um, it's going to infuse all those delicious flavors. It's gonna help tenderize that steak. So when you take it out the next day, it's ready to pop on the grill and rock and roll. Okay, should we take our uh, marinade out oh, one hour before we put it on the grill is that true so some people say you know take it out and let it rest for 30 minutes honestly it's not necessary oh, and I know my brother he's wrong <laughs> okay sorry we always have this conversation oh my gosh because <laughs> I always forget to take it out I'm like oh he said I had Me to too. wait an I'm hour the worst <laughs> all right listen get your local Kentucky beef at participating Kroger's most all of them now right yeah, we have about 85 Kroger stores predominantly in central Kentucky um, but yeah here in Lexington they're at every single Kroger store. Check it out. And listen, find me a knife and a fork because I'm about to check that out. <laughs> I'm Deanne Stevens, out and about. Back to you guys.